Welcome. Let's come into a comfortable seat. Grounding through the sitting bones evenly, aligning the crown of the head over the base of the spine. Becoming to notice your breath. Noticing inhalation rise and exhalation fall. With each exhalation, just notice that you've arrived here. Joining the palms together in front of the heart, bowing the head. Taking a moment to set an intention for your practice. And coming into a seated cat cow, turning the palms down. On your next inhalation, roll the shoulders back, breathe up to fill the rim of the chest. And on your exhale, round your back, tuck the chin, draw the navel to the spine. Inhale, rolling up. And exhale, slowly rounding. Inhale, breathing up to fill the rim of the chest and throat. Exhale, rounding. And continue. Just feeling this ripple through the spine. Shoulder shrugs, inhale, lifting the shoulders and exhale, lower the shoulders. Warming up the shoulders and shoulder blades. Inhale, raise the shoulders. Exhale, soften. Roll the left ear to left side shoulder. Tucking the chin to center. Next inhale, roll right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, center. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, center. Inhale, over to the right. Exhale, center. Here, inhale, sweep the arms high, gaze high, palms meet, and exhale, come through to the heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms high, gaze high. Exhale through to the heart, beginning to link your movements with your breath. Breathing bottom to top, exhaling down. Becoming aware of the union between your body and your breath. On your next inhale, reversing, reach the arms high, gaze high, exhale, sweep the arms out wide, spreading through the hands. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, twist through the upper spine to the right. Left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you and look gently over your right side shoulder. Gentle twist here. Gentle inhale. Gentle exhale. Inhale, raise the arms high. Come through center. Exhale over to the left. Right hand to your left knee. Left hand behind you. Looking gently over your left shoulder. Gentle twist. Feeling the mobility in your thoracic spine, the middle of the back. Inhale back up and exhale through to the heart. Clasp and interlace the hands, reach the knuckles forward, bow the head, breathe into the upper back. Inhale, raise the arms high, flip the palms to face up. Exhale over to your right, side bending. Inhale, center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, center, reach the hands away from the seat and exhale, sweep the arms out wide. One more time, round, inhale. Exhale, inhale, sweeping up. Flip the palms, exhale over to the right, inhale center, exhale over to the left, inhale center and exhale, sweep the arms out wide, palms together. And let's make our way onto all fours, tabletop in the center of your mat, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees and take a moment to just shift your weight around in any organic way, just noticing how you feel today. And then stacking, exhale, round, hollow up. Inhale, arching, roll the gaze high. 
cat cow. Exhale, round and hollow up like the cat. And inhale, reaching the sitting bones wide. Peel the heart forward and up, shoulders back. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward and up. And back to a neutral spine. Tuck the left toes under, reach through the heel. Raise the leg. Raise right arm, hold, find levelness. And exhale, tap the earth. Inhale, lift again up where you were. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and continue. Make sure the back of your head is in line with the upper back. And as you're lifting, think of hugging towards the spine line. This last one here, inhale, lift and hold. And exhale, we're gonna squeeze the elbow towards the knee or groin. Inhale, press away in opposite directions. Exhale, hug. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze and continue. Building a bit more heat, warming up the core. Core supporting us throughout our practice and throughout the rest of our day. Back to center. Round and hollow up. Three cat cow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, gentle arch. Last time here, and arriving back to a neutral spine, table. Second side, tuck the right toes under, reach through the heel, then raise the leg and add the left arm. Inhale, reach your way, keep that length and exhale, tap the floor. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Think of the muscles isometrically hugging in again towards the spine line, towards the navel. This last one, lift and hold. And exhale, adding on, squeeze the elbow towards the knee or groin. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, hug. Inhale, lengthen and continue here. Feeling that rhythm with your body and your breath. This last one, lift, hold, and then come back to table. Making our way into Balasana, knees wide, hips to the heels, lengthening the arms, forehead down, resting the forehead, melting into this pose, breathing into the back body. Feel the lungs expand on an inhale and contract on exhale. When you're ready, gently lift your head, turn your head to the left, right side of the head rests. Know that you can come to this pose at any time throughout the practice as you see fit, listening to your body and what you need today. Left side of the head gently rests when you're ready. A few more breaths here. And then forehead back to center. I'm going to prepare now for a down dog, hand shoulder width, grounding through the palms, spread through the fingers. Lift the hips, tuck all toes and sit back hips to heels, just opening the soles of the feet, breathing into this long line of the right and left side body. Looking up towards the hands, push the floor away, let the knees rise. Initiate the dog tilt and press straight back to come up, down dog. Once you're here, pedal out the feet, noticing how the legs feel. Inhale, deep knee bend. Exhale, straight in the legs, keeping the long spine. Inhale, bend. Reach the sit bones high. Exhale, press the heels back and down. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. Looking up towards the hands, bend the knees. You can walk, step, or hop the feet up to meet the hands. At the top here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, when you're ready and fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Lifting the back of the skull in line with the upper back, thighs into hamstrings. And folding here, rocking your head side to side. Forward and back, softening your jaw, softening the throat. Take a moment to rock in the feet, forward and back, noticing the soles of the feet, feeling the contact of the feet with the earth. 
Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha. Exhale, fold navel to the spine. Inhale, rising up tall over straight legs. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Samastiti, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms high away from the feet. Exhale through to the heart. Arriving in Tadasana, mountain pose. Palms face forward. Soft bend to the knees. Anchor through the soles. Your next inhale, sweep the arms high, palms forward. Traditional Surya Namaskar A, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, stepping right foot back, right knee lowers. Inhale, hands to the hips or sweep the arms high. Exhale, place the hands shoulder width and step back down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower the knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, sit back, hips to heels, then lift, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Reaching the sit bones away from the wrist creases. Inhale, step left foot forward, right knee lowers. Peel the heart forward and up, raise the arms. Exhale, fold, step the right foot forward to match the left, Uttanasan. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale to the heart, Samastiti. Second side, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, step left foot back, left knee lowers. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, fold, place the hands, step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, sit back and lift. Downward facing dog, three breaths. Your next inhale, right foot forward, left knee lowers. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Uttanasa, left foot forward to match the right. Inhale, root and rise. Exhale, hands to the heart, Samastiti. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Right hand takes your left wrist. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Leaning into your left hip, let the shoulder blades melt down towards the waist. Inhale, back to center. Switch your grip. Reach high. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Envisioning the body between two panes of glass. Inhale, arriving back to center. Exhale, hands to the heart. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep the arms high. This time exhale, swan dive out. Inhale, Ardha, halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands, step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, rolling over the toes. Hold here for three breaths, three to five breaths. Your next exhale, hold the breath out, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop the feet to the front. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise. Exhale to the heart. Second A, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, diving out, navel to the spine. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, place the hand, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, anchor into the toes, roll the heart up. Exhale, down dog. Three to five breaths here. A few more breaths. Bending the knees, lift the gaze, step or jump on your next exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last A, inhale, rise. Breathing up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale up. When you're ready, exhale, diving out. Prepare on inhale. 
Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Adha mukha, navel to the spine, coming back, down dog. Three to five breaths here. Ekapada, inhale, right leg high. Draw the knee in, place the foot, high lunge. And just shifting your weight forward and back, getting a feel for your weight, opening the groin and hips. And settling into the high lunge, anchor through your left heel, left shoulder over the wrist, right arm high for a lateral opener or right hand to the hip. Feeling the twist in your upper spine, crown extending forward away from the tail. Inhale and exhale, lower the hand. Cat cow in the lunge. Inhale, lengthen, lower back knee. Exhale, round and hollow up. Inhale, exhale. Making sure the right knee is over the right ankle the whole time you pulse in and out. And holding your low lunge, pull the heart forward, shoulders back, jawline back sinking into the hip and then arms come down by your side and then sweep up towards the sky Anjani Asana low lunge inhale exhale place the hands shift back halfway Ardha Hanumanasan slide your right heel point up draw the right hip crease back flexing the toes when you're ready bow the head Soften the neck, soften the shoulder blades, breathing into the hamstring. Inhale, look forward, come back through the lunge, lift back knee, step back plank, lower chaturanga, exhale. Inhale up dog and exhale, downward facing dog, holding here. Take a few breaths. Second side, left leg high. Exhale, come through the plank, hug the knee in, place the foot, high lunge. Then take a moment and shift your weights forward and back. Getting a feel for your weight and then settling into that neutral place. Left knee over left ankle. Right hand down, shoulder over the wrist. Inhale the left arm high when you're ready. Or maybe just hand at the hip to check in if your hips are level. Breathing into this expression. And then slowly lower the hand, pulsing as you square back. Inhale, exhale, round and hollow up. Inhale, lengthen, roll the heart up, shoulders back. Exhale, round. And finding one more. And coming into lowering the back knee. Remember, left knee over left ankle. Dropping into the hips. And all grounding points are rooting and hugging in towards the navel. Feeling a lift in the pelvic floor. Jawline back shining through the fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Bow, folding. Shift your weight back. Ardha Hanumanasan. Slide your left heel point up a bit. Drawing the hip crease back on the left side. Leveling out the pelvis. And when you're ready, exhale. Fold and hold. Breathing into the sensation you find at the hamstring. Inhale, look forward, come back through the lunge, place the hands, flow back, chaturanga, exhale, lower. Inhale, pull the heart forward, shoulders back, jawline back. Exhale, down dog. Three to five breaths. In your next exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasan, hips low, hands high, holding here. Three to five breaths, dropping into the hips, shoulder blades melt down towards the waist. Inhale and exhale, fold Uttanasan. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump, flowing back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, coming into Vira one. Left heel in and down, sweep the arms high. Hip square, rib square. And exhale, when you're ready, release. Place the hands, flow back, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. 
exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, Virabhadrasana one, sweep the arms high. Deepen the lunge forward as you stay rooted in that back heel. Right leg extended, squaring the torso towards the front. Inhale, exhale to release, stepping back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale, Adha Mukha. Take a few breaths here. Exhale, hold out the breath, bend the knees, step or jump. Arda, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, Utkatasan. Exhale, Uttanasan. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, place the hands. Step or jump, flowing back again with your breath. Down dog. Right foot forward, Surya Namaskar B. Sweep the arms high on inhale. Exhale to release, flow back. Hold the body in one plane as you lower. Inhale up. Exhale back. Left foot forward. Rising Vera one, ground and rise. And exhale to release. Follow your breath, follow your rhythm. Back to down dog. One more round. Vera one, inhale. Exhale to release, place the hands. Chaturanga lower. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Adha Mukha, exhale. Left foot forward. Vira one, inhale, rise. Exhale to release. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha, inhale. Adha Mukha, exhale. Take a few breaths here. Hold out the exhale, step or jump. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasan, preparing for a twist. Exhale, Parvrita Utkatasan, twisting to the right, revolving. You can stay here. Always remember you can take a wider stance if you have any low back issues or if you're pregnant. Bring your feet wider, left forearm across the thigh, right hand to the hip. So just know you have a variation here. If not, step the feet close together, palms together. Hips are level as if you're balancing something on your low back. Inhale back to center, exhale, second side, revolving. Feel the twist happening from the navel. Each exhale, you're wringing out the organs, feeling the twist from the inside out. Jawline moves back, equalizing the weight from the ball mound to the heel. Exhale fully, inhale, come through center, Utkatasan. Lengthen and extend to Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale, Samastiti, equal standing. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, diving out. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, place the hands to step or jump back. Take a vinyasa back, flowing through with your breath. Right foot forward, rising, Vera one. Hold. Keeping the hips level and square. Exhale, fold halfway from the hinge of the hip. Sweep the arms back, hugging in towards the spine line. Inhale, rotate from the pelvis, rising back to Vera one. And continue. Inhale, exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, pull the heart forward and up. Your clasp and interlace the hands. Extend through the right leg. Roll the shoulder blades together in and down. Peel the heart forward and up, opening the east side body. Exhale, fold slowly, keeping yourself level, bowing the head, Parsvottanasana variation. Keep a soft bend to the elbows. Keep drawing up through the sole of the right foot, lifting the right hip crease up into the waist. Heavy and left heel. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, unclasp, place the hands, step back. Chaturanga, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Second side, left foot forward, rising, Vera one. Hold here, finding levelness, hugging towards the spine line. When you're ready, exhale, fold, Arda. Sweep the arms back, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, sweep the arms back, hugging in. Inhale, rotate from the pelvis, lifting the torso, head and gaze last. 
This last one here. Just enjoying this flow. And then clasp and interlace the hands opposite them on top. Press out of the lunged leg, leveling the hips. Right heels turned in and down. Peel the heart forward and up, keeping that length. Exhale, slowly fold from the hinge of the hip, bowing the head. Again here, drawing up through the sole of the left foot to find length and extension in your left leg. Lifting the hip crease up. Breathing into this expression. Anchoring through the soles. On your next inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, unclasp, place the hands. Step back, chaturanga, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, adamuka. Right foot forward, rising, Vira one. Holding here. Exhale, opening into Virabhadrasana two. Right knees in line with the toes, checking out if you're level. Back foot's at about a 45 degrees. Hips are open to the long edge of your mat. Long line wrist to wrist. Coming into lateral side angle, bring the right forearm to the thigh, left arm high, stacking the shoulders. Or maybe the right hand comes down to the outer edge or inner edge of the foot, bracing. When you're ready, you can extend your left arm overhead. If you'd like an extra challenge, extend the right arm as well, keeping rooted in your outer left heel point, drawing the abdomen back, ribs back. So just choosing your option, holding there. If you want to take a bind, sweep the left arm back behind you to take the right inner thigh. And then extend the right arm high and out. Palm faces up, reaching through the fingertips. Press and extend out of the lunge, coming into Utita Trikonasan. Right hand down to the shin, ankle, foot, or maybe the floor. Left arm high with your gaze. Stacking the shoulders. Long line wrist to wrist. Heavy and outer left heel. Breathing into here, lunging into right side leg, rise, inhale, warrior two. Exhale back into reversed warrior, left hand back, right arm high, soften the throat. Lower the chin and bring the skull into the back plane, deepening the lunge. Remember, if that's too deep, bring your left hand up to your left hip. Inhale, Vera two. Exhale through, lateral side angle. Inhale, rise, Vira two, pause, exhale, reversed warrior. Inhale, Vira two, pause, exhale through, lateral side angle, and continue. So enjoying this flow, keeping the side body long. And then scoop the left arm down, forward and up. Come back to Vira one, adjusting the back foot. Exhale to release and flow back. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, exhale, Adha Mukha. Take a few breaths here. Left foot forward, rising, Virabhadrasana one. When you're ready, exhale, opening wide to the right, Vira two. Hips are open and level, pelvic bowl level to the side of the mat. Left knee in line with the toes. Gaze over the left hand. Back heels at a slight angle, about 45 degrees, heavy in the back heel. When you're ready, coming into lateral side angle, remembering your options, forearm to the thigh or left hand down. Right arm extends, keeping the right shoulder blade down onto the upper back. Add the left arm when you're ready, holding here. Breathing into this expression. Back to lateral side angle. Taking the bind here. Wrapping the right arm back behind you. Back of the hand to the low back or left inner thigh. Left arm extends. Roll the right shoulder blade back and down. And then from here, push out of the lunge leg. Lengthen the left leg. Reach the left arm forward and down. Right arm unwinds coming up high. Utita Trikonasan. Triangle. 
Stacking the shoulders, long line wrist to wrist. Lunging into left side leg, rise, inhale, Vira two. Exhale, reversed warrior. Right shoulder blade in and down, deepening the lunge, deepening your breath, soften the throat. Remember your right hand can always come up to your right hip. Keeping the long, length long in the side body, inhale, Vira two. Exhale through lateral side angle. When you're ready, inhale, rise, pause, exhale, reversed. Just taking your time flowing in and out with your breath, alternating. Holding Vera two, scoop the right arm down, forward and up. You might need to adjust the back foot, arriving back to Vera one. Exhale to release, place the hands, step back, chaturanga lower. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Adha Mukha, exhale. Hold here. And then Balasana, taking a rest. Knees wide, forehead down. Hips heavy to the heels. Absorbing the benefits of the practice so far. Reconnect with the tide of the breath. Lifting the gaze, bring weight to the hands, downward facing dog. Take your time to arrive here. Sitting bones reach high away from the wrists, heels back and down. Vera one, right foot forward, rising. Inhale, exhale, Vera two. Inhale, press out of the lunge, pivot turn, five pointed star, feet parallel. Shoulder blades hug gently in and down. Coming into goddess, turn the heels in at 45, bend the knees and elbows, drop into your hips, abdomen back, tail down. Breathing deeply here. Inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale, pivoting back, five-pointed star. And pivot on the heels, turning to your right, arriving into Ardha Chandrasana. Bending the right knee, plant the right fingertips about a foot away from the pinky toe side. Raising the left leg. For more balance, keep your gaze down and your left arm on the body somewhere. Eventually revolve with your gaze and look up towards your left hand. Reach away with your left heel. Maybe you're floating the right hand for an extra challenge to the core. Bend the right knee, coming into triangle, lengthen the right leg, left arm high, left arm extends if you wanna deepen the stretch. Lunging into right side leg, rise, Vera two. Exhale, Vera one, coming through. And release, flowing back with your breath. Second side, left foot forward, rise, Vera one. Exhale to open, Vera two. Inhale, press out of the lunge leg, pivot and turn, exhale, five pointed star. Inhale, when you're ready, lift your heels, pivot on the ball mounds, turning your heels in and down, bending the knees, drop into the hips, goddess pose. Shoulder blades soften in and down towards your waist as you drop the hips. Next, inhalation, lengthen and extend. Exhale, five-pointed star. Pivot on the heels, turn to the left, look forward, lunging into your half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Fingertips root for more balance, gaze down, right hand to the hip or alongside the body. Eventually lengthening the right arm high with the gaze. Think of pressing into the wall with your right foot. Equal action in your feet. And again here, maybe even possibly floating the left hand. Lunge into left side leg, lengthen the right leg back and down, slowly arriving into triangle again. And if you'd like, right arm can extend. And 
Lunging into left side leg. Rise, inhale, Vira two. Exhale, Vira one. Scoop the right arm down, forward and up. Squaring back. Exhale to release and flow back to your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, step or jump. Feet to hands, inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise. Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale to the heart, Samastiti. Inhale, sweeping up. This time, exhale, step wide again. Five-pointed star to your right. Taking a wide forward fold when you're ready. Place the hands. Gently rock your head. Feel the thighs, the inner thighs rolling back and wide. If you'd like, take opposite elbows or forearms and just rocking. Letting the head go, freeing its weight. Feeling the stability of your feet. Place the hands. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Left hand down, inhale. When you're ready, right arm high or right hand to the hip. Feeling a little twist here. Keeping the hips level. So notice if you moved out of your left hip and just shift back. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hand. Inhale, left arm high. Notice if you moved out of right hip and shift weight back over to right hip. Exhale, lower the hand. Inhale, right arm high with the gaze. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm high. Feel the twist in the upper spine from the navel up. And then fold and hold. Rocking the head. Breathing into the upper back. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees, hands to the hips. Slowly peel the rest of the body up. Raise the arms high in your inhale. Exhale, draw into the heart. Stepping to the front of the mat. Samastiti. Tadasan. Preparing for Vrikhtrasan tree. Left foot to the right inner calf or the inner thigh. Pelvic bowl level. Hands to prayer, steady gaze. Arms high as you're ready. Feeling the roots of your tree, roots running deep into the soil. Natural breath. Bring the left knee in and up, then press the left heel back to Vira Bhadrasana three, any arm position here. Hands to the heart, T or extended, leveling the hips, kneecap and toes point down. Tiny bend to your right knee. Dynamic ekapada on your next inhale, rising. Exhale, Vira three. Inhale, rising, navel hugs to the spine, drawing in and up. Exhale, Vira three. Inhale, rooting through right foot, float the left, Exhale, Vera three, holding here, and then coming back, equal standing. Second side, right foot to left calf, or place the foot at the inner thigh. Vrikhtrasan, steady gaze, steady breath, raise the arms when you're ready. Drawing the right knee in and up. Exhale, press the heel straight back in one long line. Vera three. Kneecap and toes point down, level the hips. Teeny bend to left knee. Inhale, rising up in one plane. Float the right foot. Exhale, Vera three. Moving dynamically. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Vera three. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Vera three. Crown and line with the tail. Inhale, rise. And exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale, diving out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the heart. Take your feet wide about hip width distance or to the edge of your mat. Hands to the hips, preparing for standing camel. 
Roll the shoulders back, elbows hug in. Keep pressing the thighs forward. Draw the navel back, jawline back. Breathe up to fill the heart. Feeling this back bend, gentle back bend in the upper back. Inhale to roll up the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, easy forward fold, rippling down. Release the hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. This time, exhale, place the hands. Step or jump to a plank and hold your plank. Lower to the right shin. Pivot on the left ball mound. Stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips, or Vashistasan, sage, or side plank. Left arm overhead, left arm can extend, left leg can lift. Take any variation, stacking your hips. Come back through, plank, center. Lower to the left shin, pivot and turn on the back foot for a variation, right arm high, or stacking the hips, right hip on top of left, right arm can extend, right leg can lift. Either way that feels best or challenging for you today, take a few more breaths and arrive back, center plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Ekapada, inhale the right leg high, come through to your plank, hug the knee in and up. Place the knee in and down for pigeon pose. Untuck your back toes, press into the top of the foot. Roll the heart up, take a few breaths here. And when you're ready, optional, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold and hold. So just thinking about pigeon as though, you know, you're breathing into the right side hip, softening the shoulders. The right hip doesn't necessarily need to touch the floor. Just feel your right hip narrowing in and your left hip rolling forward and down. So you're leveling out and there's no pain in the low back. Again here, tuning into the tide of breath, breathing into this expression. Slowly peel the body up, reach the left arm high, left forearm comes down to the mat parallel. Make sure your shoulders stacked over the elbow. Peel the right gaze up with the right arm. An optional left knee bends and hug in on the foot, breathing into your quadricep. Rolling back, jawline back. When you're ready to release, place the hand square back. You can step back to down dog or feel free to take a vinyasa. Second side, when you're ready, left leg high. Bring the left knee in and down between your hands. Untuck your back toes. Peel the heart forward and up. Take a few moments to adjust. Again, left hips narrowing in, right hip rolls down. Maybe the arms wanna lift high. And when you're ready, fold and hold. Breathing in and around your left side hip now. Breathing into this expression, pigeon pose. Peeling the front body up. Inhale the right arm high, right forearm to the ground, parallel to your mat. Make sure the shoulder's stacked over the elbow. Roll the left side heart forward and up with the gaze. Left hand to left hip, or left hand can come back and take the hold of the foot of the right leg as you bend the knee, breathing into the quadricep. Release when you're ready, place the hands. Tuck back toes, step back plank, flow back, or just step back downward facing dog. You can walk, step, or step through, jump to a comfortable seat. And if you'd like to jump through, you can try that also, hugging the abdomen in and up when you do that. Legs extended, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Or hands to the shin, or maybe hands to the thighs. If you have low back things going on, you can always take your feet a little bit further apart, with a little bit more of a bend to the knees too, that can aid in the forward fold. 
Here we're just breathing into the low, middle, and upper back. Seat rooted in a firm foundation. Grounding through the seat. On your next inhale, slowly and gently peel up the spine, bottom to top. Place the hands. And then draw the feet together, knees wide, for Baddha Konasan. Inhale, getting nice and tall on your exhale, forward fold and hold. Again, sitting bones rooted in a firm foundation. Press the soles together and relax the upper back and shoulders. Soften the back of the neck. Inhale, rolling up. Draw the knees together in and up. Extend your left leg. Cross your right foot over the left leg or the right foot might want to stay right in front. Getting nice and tall. Left arm high. Exhale, twist through the upper spine. The elbow braces the outer knee. Right hand behind you, looking over the right side shoulder. If that's too deep of a twist, just wrap your left arm around your right knee, hugging the knee. Internal gaze, feeling the pulsation of the breath, taking you into the twist. Slowly turn the gaze to center and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Then lift the head back to center and unwind. Second side, right leg long. Cross left foot over, right arm high on inhale. Twist through the upper spine so the elbow braces the outer knee, looking over your left shoulder. And again, if that's too deep, wrap right arm around left knee. Make sure you're evenly rooted in both sides sitting bones. And draw your jawline into the back plane. Slowly, when you're ready, turn the gaze to center. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feeling a stretch in the left side neck. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, slowly unwind, Dandasan. Staff, inhale the arms high and take one more forward fold on exhale when you're ready. Possibly noticing a bit more space here. Inhales, expand and exhales, contract. Peel up the spine when you're ready. Walk your feet in hip width, shoulders back, and then draw the shins parallel and up. Modified boat. You can hug in on the shins or the hamstrings. Full boat when you're ready. Coming into half boat, Arda. Low back rest, shoulder blades and skull are lifted with the legs. Remember, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale back to full boat. Exhale, half boat. Inhale, hug in and up, gaze high. Boat, Navasana, exhale, half boat. Inhale, exhale, hug the knees. Give yourself a rock side to side. Let go of the full weight of the head. Massage out your back. And then rock in a circular motion. And then spine wise, just massaging out your back. Place the feet hip width, preparing for a bridge pose, arms by your side, lifting the hips. Think of squeezing a yoga block between your legs so the muscles isometrically hug in instead of splay out wide. Little lift in the chin away from the chest. If you'd like, you can clasp the hands. Press the pinky side edges down as you lift your hips. When you're ready on your exhale, roll down the spine. You can keep holding your bridge, release at any time, or prepare for a full back bending wheel. Pressing up, same thing here with the block. Hug the muscles in, feet parallel. Shoulder blades hug in together. And another option here, if you want to step it up a bit, right leg high, ekapada, then second leg high, pushing equally away with the other limbs. Holding here, breathing up, and then exhale, tuck the chin, roll down the spine. Bring the knees up over the hips, preparing for spinal twist. When you're ready, bring the knees over to the left. Head rolls gently to the right. Feel the inspiring inhale. Wash up the front body. The exhale, root you back. When you're ready, navel hugs the spine. Come to the opposite side. Hips are stacked. Twist again happens in the upper spine. 
Inspiring and inhale, wash up the front body. Grounding exhale washes down the back body into the earth. One more breath. And the knees hug into the chest. Come back to center. Give yourself a little rock. Then take the top of the right shin. Hug the right knee in. Lengthen the left leg long. Melting back into the earth. And then switch when you're ready gently. Make sure your shoulder blades and hips are level. And then extend your left leg out long when you're ready to match the right. And then last pose before Shavasana, we'll take fish pose. Place the hands underneath the body, palms down, making a little shelf. Roll the shoulders together and lift the heart straight up. Drop your head back. Let your seat fall heavy into the hands, hands heavy into the earth, radiating through the heart. When you're ready to come down, tuck the chin, lengthen, open the arms, palms facing up, arriving into final pose, Shavasan or Shavasana. Make sure you're very comfortable making any other final adjustments now. Closing the eyes. Nothing else left to do, simply existing here, absorbing and receiving the benefits of the practice, lying in stillness. Become aware of the back body, the side facing the earth. Feel where the head meets the floor, shoulders where they meet the floor backs of the upper arms, elbows, forearms, and hands where they meet the floor, shoulder blades, buttocks, backs of the upper legs where they meet the floor, calf muscles, and the heels where they meet the floor. Feel all points of meeting together, body floor meeting, simultaneously and evenly, allowing the full weight of the physical body to release into these grounding points and into the earth. Whole body rests. Feel the eyes resting back, weightless and glowing in their sockets. Temples releasing towards the floor. Notice the inner and outer cheeks soft. The hinge of the jaw soft. Throat soft. All of your skin smooth and glowing. Whole body rests. And gently beginning to awaken, wiggling fingers and toes. Eventually hugging your knees, rocking side to side and over to one side. Take your time. Pausing a moment here in stillness before peeling the body up to a comfortable seat. Arriving here in the upright spine, adjusting, joining the palms together in front of the heart. Bowing the head, namaste.